Hey, hey, Sean, Brody Miller with The Athletic. I guess, you know, you, you, you were preparing for, you know, a quarterback battle, but I'm just curious, what does it do now going through camp for you as a receiver, knowing who the quarterback is and knowing, hey, I can get this extra time with this guy and get that timing down and all that? So yeah, as a uh, as a wide receiver core, I feel like we know who the quarterback is now and it's max. So after practice, we throw balls. We got to make sure timing right because at the end of the day, that's who throwing our balls game wise, practice wise. So it got to be perfect. Hey, Kayshawn, yeah, so just, I guess, uh, sorry, this is Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, just kind of along those lines, who are a few of the guys that maybe you've seen uh, some growth from over the last, you know, several months or so? I mean, you're kind of the leader of this group now after having that kind of explosive end of the season, but I'm curious as to maybe who are some other guys that you've noticed who have really seemed to take another leap in their games this season. Everybody really stepping up, honestly, to me. The freshmen came in. I, I feel like they came in at a faster pace than we did as our freshman core last year. You got Brian Thomas, Explosive X. He could do anything from fade balls to slants to everything. It's just impressive watching him. Chris running routes, he doing the same thing. And Malik Neighbors, he could do it all. And Dion too, they do it all. Sean Garland, Dylan Fox, State, New Orleans here. Uh, can you speak on your relationship with Max there? It seems like y'all got on the same page at the back end the last season there. Uh, what do you like about how the ball comes out of his hand that you just seem to gravitate toward it and obviously put up some monster numbers in some of these games? I mean, uh, all my life, I never really had a left-hand quarterback. So I guess playing with him made me realize that this is my first left-hand quarterback and the balls just come different. They come weird to me, though, but faster. But after a while, you get used to it. So do you, so you, do you uh, now that you're accustomed to it there, uh, I, I guess this past summer and everything, you're, you're going to, the numbers should just go up much higher than they did at the end of last season when y'all y'all finally started working together. Yes, sir. They're going to go up this year. Trust and believe. Uh, okay, Sean, I know you're expecting big things from you and my receiver core, but Austin Deculus talked about how it's all but just really showing some signs of being a dual-edged sword with, having the run game and the passing game. How are Ty Davis, Price, and John Henry looking early on? Uh, they looking good very early on. We have a lot of big plays during practice, and we all feel emotion. They score, run big plays, and we run in the end zone and meet them. It's just a part of practice. You need the energy. Okay, Sean, uh, Scott Rabelais from The Advocate. Um, with uh, Ali Gay was just saying how he uh, hoped to get the, the full Tiger Stadium experience this year. With the with the team being, uh, as last we heard, almost almost fully vaccinated, uh, are, are you hoping that that will, that will encourage people to to do the same? Fans, so you, uh, you know, to try to get uh, try to get as close to a, you know full house as you can have in Tiger Stadium this year. Yes, sir. I feel like if everybody want a fully Tiger Stadium, they got to get vaccinated. I'm fully vaccinated, and I advise it for everybody. Hey, Kay, Sean, Jacques, do you say WAFB? Um, going out to practice and looking at all these wide receivers and these long, this long line of athletic and talented guys, what is competition like? I mean, is it – how fierce is the battle to get those three or four guys on the field? Gee, it's a very fierce battle. You got to go in practice every day knowing that somebody else wants your spot. So you got to handle your role or you're going to be replaced. Hey, K. Sean, Wilson, I was there from the advocate. One of the guys in that receiver board we haven't even talked about yet, Jare Jenkins, had a pretty solid year last year. It seems to be running alongside you uh, early on in uh, camp here. What have you seen from him uh, so far in this camp? Does he seem like someone who could uh, really contribute as well? Yeah, I feel like he really somebody that can that could contribute to this year as well. Because on my side, I do what I do, and I'm knowing and I trust that he could do what he do because he showed every day, practice, walkthroughs, everything. Yeah, hey, Sean, Ron Higgins, Tight Rag Magazine. What is it about? I guess a left-hander that was kind of strange at the beginning for you to to catch, and also with Max, uh, is it different because he scrambles also? He has to kind of keep going on the play, keep keep running around. Uh, yeah. Um, 
it's just like I say, it was weird adjusting to it, and he scramble and throw off the run a lot, so it's like the ball is coming like 40 miles per hour. So it's just it's all a reaction thing. You gotta focus fast. Hey, Kayshawn Glenn, Bilbo Lafayette, advertiser. Um, have you asked or told any of your friends and family, you know, hey, if you want to go to Tiger Stadium this year, go get vaccinated? Have you kind of communicated that to them? Yes, sir. I make it known all the time, uh, a couple times out the week, too, because it's the right thing to do. Uh, what I feel like everybody got their own opinion at the end of the day. And one more. Um, last year, you, you didn't get a lot of action early in the season. How patient, was it trying your patience, or did you ever think you were going to burst on the scene like you did late last season? Were you getting antsy, I guess? I never, I never did think I was going to do what I do. And to this day, I still don't really talk about it because there's still much to improve on. It was just a freshman. I learned more. I experienced. I just got to come back harder. Hey, K. Sean, this is uh, Glenn West again. One more question for you. Um, you know, DJ Mangus is a, you know, one of the new guys in the building, and I'm sure he, he was probably involved in your recruitment a couple of years ago as well. Um, what are you kind of learning from? What have you learned from him? I guess in the in the months you know since he's taken over as you know, the passing game coordinator and just kind of what is that fit like with him and the receivers? What, what's that bond like for you guys? Well, he coming in with a he coming in with a great plan. Practice every day. He working us. I'm, I can't even lie. He working us. We talk about it every day, and he say he gonna hold us to that high standard because we play like well we practice like receivers that's supposed to play. So he gonna hold us to a higher standard than others. Hey, Keishon, I'm just curious. I mean, you know, you have that, like, crazy end of the year and that huge game against Ole Miss in the last game of the season. Has your anything in your life or, like, around your life changed as a result of having a game like that to end the year in the, you know, in all those months since? Has something, have you noticed differences in maybe the way people talk to you or, or something like that? Yeah, like if I was out in public, people would talk to me, but I don't really go out a lot. So it's like I avoid all the noise and all the talk and stuff like that.